Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna talk as loud as I can. Drinking my uh, greens and bananas this morning. Getting some vitamins in. I wanted to address some things, okay? Some things that I think are important. Um, <clears throat> number one. Do not shoot the messenger, all right? Because I'm going to tell y'all why. And I'm not on here to bash. I'm not um, trying to be like rappers that battle each other or any of that. There are a few really good, authentic readers, in my opinion, on YouTube, okay? Okay. I've been looking around, and I know the good ones. Trust me. I know the ones I would actually give my money to. And I need y'all to understand that I have put money into this out of my pocket, okay? Not from y'all's pocket, my pocket. Um, to bring this information to you, all right, in a way that's not only uh, very accurate, but efficient as well. Now I'm learning like you're learning. Yes, I butchered how to pronounce Sangoma, I did. And I stated in the video, I probably did. Again, I'm learning just like you're learning. I'm not from Africa. I don't understand the word. I don't understand the practices. And I stated in the video, I may be butchering this. But please excuse me. I apologize. I was very, very respectful about it. Also, I've told y'all that I've been battling my voice all week long. I have been dealing with something and I'm still kind of dealing with something. Yet, even though I have felt like roadkill, I have made time and effort to make these videos because I want the truth out there. I want these things exposed, okay? I am one of the people who care about these children being exploited, all right? And murdered. And you'd be surprised how many don't. If you cannot hear my audio this week, notice how I'm yelling in the phone. Please feel free to use headphones or AirPods or whatever you call it, earbuds. It has helped me tremendously on videos that you can't hear. Sometimes it's our camera. Sometimes it's how it uploads. Sometimes it can be so many things, you guys. And no, I don't have the equipment that they use on Animal Planet. I will be honest. I don't. But I am doing my best as a reader, as a spiritualist, to get this information to you. I don't ask for money to do it. If you would like to donate, great. If not, great. All right? That's the type of reader I am. So all I want is respect, understanding. Because this is what's going to happen if your reader is disrespected and continuously bashed, all right? Is that the energy level is gonna go down and that is gonna affect my reading ability because it's all about energy. And I don't know about you, but I can't work under stress. I cannot and will not, all right? So all I want is the same things y'all want. Respect and understanding. We need to learn from each other. We need to pull together, okay? Respect one another. Show love to one another. If you do it, I'm a Taurus. I'm going to do it a hundredfold. You show me love, I show you heaven, all right? That's the way it works. I'm all about fairness and respect. Now... Again, if you cannot hear my audios this week because of things I cannot control, please feel free to use headphones or um, 
earphones, whatever you call them, okay? Bluetooth, whatever. It has worked for me tremendously, all right? You do not want to, I want to say, uh, ruin or take advantage of readers who are really authentic. Who are really on here trying to do the right thing all right and i want to go into because i'm going to have these little chit chat videos but um and i'm also going to do readings i need to know if there's any um request personal request are you looking for a brother do you want to know what happened to your cousin do you want answers on something please let me know there are people out there that's like i don't know what happened to my mother, I don't know what happened to my brother. I don't know where my sister is. I don't, these things, I wanna help, all right? Now, again, I want to go into, we've been doing the readings. So Yusef came to me again last night, Yusef Bell, all right? It was a little spooky. Um, when I channel these spirits, I want y'all to understand what happens is they come back up again, all right? They stick with you. I don't mind. Yusef Bell is a good spirit. He's not a bad spirit. I don't channel bad spirits. I don't call up people like Dahmer. I don't call up people like Gacy. I don't do stuff like that because you can't actually get those things stuck, <clears throat> In your world these are bad energies okay I don't like them I don't like to uh, really go into the energies of these people can I do it yes but I don't like doing stuff like that okay because you get what you get when you call up these things now I do not want Dahmer hanging around my house I do not want Gacy hanging around my bedroom I do not so I don't do stuff like that okay now, um, what I did notice was a pattern. The same spirits I called up yesterday, believe it or not, came back up again last night. So what I found out, what they showed me was very interesting that they did have interactions. It was, it was proven to me, okay, with Wayne Williams, all right? They said that, and he was showing me where it was to find out. They said that Wayne Williams had contact with Yusef Bell two days before his death. I need Yusef Bell's mother to understand something. This man has something to do with your death. I mean, your son's death. Okay? Your son's death. Sorry. And I mean, I feel like it's hurting you so bad that your health is affected as well. I can't imagine as a mother this happening. This is a nightmare. This is what, again, um, nightmares and, and darkness is made of. It's things like this. Um, Patrick Rogers showed me that he also ran into Wayne Williams, okay? I told y'all that was all about that record deal mess with him. I feel Wayne was very attracted to Patrick Rogers. Now, he showed me that he ran into him days prior and people had sightings that they ran in. These are what other people are saying too, y'all. It's not just me. But they showed me where this information was. And I was glad that I found it because it confirms that in some way, shape, or form, Wayne Williams had contact with these children that we named in the channel, okay? And they also showed me the flyer, the actual flyer. They steered me where to go to see this. Now... This flyer said male and female. What I noticed was male was first. So to him, this was more significant. This was his main target, okay? 
Um, I'm trying to remember what else here. Also, they showed me where he had contact um, before with Terrell as well. All these people that, you know, I had channeled yesterday besides Angel Lanier and also in the past, these spirits showed me, oh, he had contact with those people prior and with us prior. Okay. What that was, was a confirmation for me that when Wayne Williams was stating, I didn't know these children, you're a liar. Because you did. And I also feel like the parents knew of Wayne Williams because I believe those kids or some of those kids told their parents about him. Okay? So they should have known he was lying. Now, I really feel like this man did some of these deaths, y'all. Especially Yusef. Especially Patrick Rogers. Especially Terrell. Okay? Now, that would take me to look into individually all the children on the list, which is not a short list, because there's actually more that they didn't even put on there, y'all. They didn't even make the list. You're sitting there scratching your heads because, <clears throat> again, last night, I looked into that mayor of Atlanta, the lady I was telling you about. What's the latest update on the DNA testing? I'll tell you what it is. They paused it. Because they were in shock of what they found. And it's the same thing I've been telling y'all. It's multiple people. It's big people. All right? So they do not want to distribute the correct information out there about what they found and who they found. Because, as you know, these days you can't kill nobody because everything's going to show up. Y'all know that. But when you have a cover-up, it's a whole nother story, all right? And I think they're going to give you another story because they sure ain't going to give you a real name. Y'all ain't here, y'all. Mm -mm. They're surely not going to give you the real tea. But on this channel, you're going to get the real tea. And I try to give y'all the truth. So please be respectful. Let's do all of this. If we do this in love, we are going to get down to it, y'all. We cannot disrespect each other. We cannot bash each other. We cannot, you know, come at each other. You can say whatever in the comments. Just be respectful. That's all I'm saying. I've had a hard week. I've been reading and seeing things you just cannot comprehend. All right? I'm being haunted. Luckily, by good spirit, but yet it's still, I'm being haunted, all right? And I'm trying to, again, help these spirits and help y'all to get understanding. All right. So if you see a true reader, be respectful because they come very few. Everybody claims they're psychic. Everybody can get some tarot cards and say I'm a psychic. And they're just about money. But then you got something to say, hey, I really want to help. I really want to step in and make a difference with my ability while I'm here. Okay? Those people just be good to, is what I'm saying, and cherish them and really respect and honor them. Because, again, they're very few. Now, I come from a line that's real. Okay? And then when I did used to do this for profit, y'all, mm, I was doing women, men, uh, <laughs> redness. I was reading everybody. All right. So please just be respectful because, again, I'm not really doing this for profit. I'm doing this out of my heart. All right. I have a love and concern for these spirits and children. I really do. Because I have children. All right. 
and y'all have children. So let's let's do this thing right. Okay, that was on my mind. I had to get it off this morning with my banana and greens. I had to get it off. So, I want to explain where I stand, who I am, as we go forward. And there will be little chats like this that I do besides readings. Won't we'll all be readings. I have to figure out what I'm going to do next. Because I need y'all to understand that when we finish one case, it's just going to be another because we live in that type of world. This is the hot subject right now, you know, about Madeline Soto, Jocelyn Smith. But eventually, it'll be somebody else that we got to read. And that's the sad part. So, again, let's be respectful. Um... I do have my donation link up for those who want to, fine. For those who don't, fine. Okay. And also, I also have my little coffee link up if you want to buy me a coffee. And what else was I going to say? I kind of need a couple days to recoup, y'all, because the readings were very draining. And again, the things I saw were pretty horrific. So I'm trying to, I have to preserve my health and mind as well in order to be where I need to be to get the information to you correctly, all right? So I'm going to take a couple days and get my mind right, okay? Um, what else? I feel like with Madeline Salto's energy, she just wants to be left alone, y'all. I think, for one, she just really wants to be left alone. And I respect that. Um, I will be waiting these couple days to hear from maybe Jocelyn or if I get any more updates about the spirits that I did channel. And a lot of people don't believe in channeling. They think you're crazy, you know? But it would be crazy to say that spirits don't exist. And it would be crazy to say that we can't see them or hear them. And it would be crazy to say that these things that we have been talking about don't go on on a daily basis. That's what's crazy. Okay? Spirits are very real. Very real. Um, the only time, like my grandmother used to say, that's the indication that you're crazy is you're talking to yourself and answering yourself back. Then you probably want to go seek some help is what I think. But with the spirit, you know, we channel, we get answers, they communicate, we communicate. Um, it's not crazy. It comes from a long bloodline of abilities and it's something that is very looked down upon by some people um spiritual work spiritual channeling is not always accepted all right because it's very misunderstood and to some it's scary you know but i guarantee you that some of those people will be the same people to actually go when they're missing a loved one or something and ask questions, okay? Like, I want to speak with my mother. Can you call up my father? Can you? These type of things. And um, I would say when I was doing the type of work, um, I had a lot of people who wanted mediumship. That was really the main request was people who just want to hear about their grandfather again or they want to know if their mother's in a good place or, you know. So spirituality and spirits is a very uh, needed thing, believe it or not. And I'm going to have to entertain them all week because I called them up. And it's okay. Because they just want to stick around and keep giving me information. And it's all right because we need more information. Um, I'm just going to try to again relax and rest today. 
I appreciate all the love and support. If I did butcher the pronunciation of Sungoma, please forgive me. I said I probably did. Or any other names or things that I need more knowledge and practice on. I'm here to learn. I'm here to perfect my craft. You know what I mean? So it's fine with me. I don't really take it to heart. And I thank you guys for helping me with the pronunciation and the information I need to go further into these types of readings. Um, again, love you guys in Africa. You've been a great support and we're still on board trying to find Jocelyn. And, um, if I get anything, I'll be back chit chatting again, but I think I'm going to cool it on the readings for a couple days, get my mojo back up, get myself together and everything's going to be okay. So again, please like, share, subscribe. Have a great morning. Let's start a positive morning. The sun is out. Go get some sun. Hold your loved ones close because you could, as you can see, tomorrow it probably won't be that way. Hold them close. And just enjoy your day. Let's get, oh, I left my cards up. I can't even get a positive message out. Let me see if I can channel one. Okay, so just watch over yourselves, protect yourselves. Protection I get is very strong for today. And I think these, I know who these spirits are that's giving me this message. Okay, thank you, um, the victims of Wayne Williams, thank you. Um, protect yourselves, watch over yourselves, watch over your loved ones very close because tomorrow's not promised. And um, that was a good message, thank you. And it sounds... Like it is that back in the day message is beautiful, but it's true. And we need to practice that more and more, even in 2024. So again, y'all have a great morning. Like, share, subscribe, all my videos. Go check them out. Check them out. And um, if you can't hear me again, put headphones, earbuds in, whatever you need to do. I'm truly trying to get my voice back where it needs to be. And I apologize I in advance. All right, have a great day.